Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I hope everybody's having a good day today. My name is Mike, and I have in front of me a Lenovo lap laptop, a G500, which was put out 2013-2014 in that era. And I've been really, this laptop started out as a Windows 8 laptop, and eventually I upgraded to Windows 8.1 and then I tried Windows 10. I went back to 8.1 because of battery life issues, at least on this particular laptop running an iCore 5, older iCore 5 uh, mobile uh, Celeron, I mean not Celeron, Pentium iCore 5 uh, or a iCore 5 is not a Pentium but uh, battery life was on Windows 10 was not very good at all so I went back to 8.1 now I have no issues with 8.1 but I thought that with Mint 18.3 being out and all the good reviews I thought I'd make a review of my own on this particular laptop and I will tell you one thing that I like this particular distribution finally does everything I want now history of me I've tried I was back in slackware in the late 90's I was back in uh, Red Hat in the early days I did uh, Mandrake Linux and the early BSDs and I found that uh, even though at the time I liked them, they never did everything I wanted them to do. We're finally at the point for the last few years where you you can do just about everything you want on Linux now. And you do not have to go to the command line. You don't have to open Bash or any of the languages. But one thing I appreciate, for instance, Chrome. As you can see, it, it pops right up on this particular laptop it's it it works the same whether you use it on Mac whether you use it on Windows and I'm not, I haven't tried on BSD but that's the beautiful thing about Chrome and that's one thing that uh, I like the fact that it works no matter what platform it works the same it may look a little different but it works the same and this particular laptop it just flies with this distribution I really appreciate that I was using another distribution and usually I never hear my hard drive on this thing working so uh, I got rid of it on that or I, got, I took that particular distribution off because I started hearing my hard drive another thing I want to highlight is this program called Nomax I'd recommend that you get it if you're if you're a fan of iPhoneView I love iPhoneView it's simple and you can do a lot of things and I find that uh, if you like to do a lot of cut and paste of pictures, this is an excellent program for that. It really is. It may not have all the tools that iPhoneView has, but of course you have GIMP on this distribution for other things. But if you like to do cut and paste and certain other filters, uh, this is an excellent distribution for that. okay and the other thing some of these distributions you find that your light and dark controls don't work well I'm here to tell you sound works perfectly the stereo is perfect it found my Wi-Fi right away battery life is is not as good as say uh, 8.1 but it is definitely better than 10 so I would say if you want to go to a distribution and you can do just about everything you want on your Windows machine, of course you can download Wine if you want to use Windows. They do have it in the uh, software um, store here for Mint. But uh, I just wanted to uh, give a shout out to the guys at Mint for putting out a fine, very useful distribution I, at least on far in my laptop I, I don't think I'm going to be missing Windows at all it, it tends to run pretty cool too 
um, my fan has this computer has a, what you call silent fan technology it seems to have silent fan technology on this distribution too and uh, as far as I can tell everything works so until next time this is Mike and I hope everybody has a good day and take care now bye